Fats, my name is Tanya, and I help people just like you transform their diets and lifestyles to be plant-based. I'm excited to be here with you today. I'm just chilling with this awesome tree behind me. It's so beautiful. This tree has to be, maybe I'll just kind of like move this so you can see. I mean, it has to be, I would guess, about 100 years old, maybe more, okay? So it's pretty cool. But I just wanted to welcome you to my channel, Chrysalis Chats, and I'm so excited to introduce this week's theme, which is lessons from your mother and i'm not talking about your birth mother like the person you came out of but the planet so lessons from mother earth and today we're going to be talking about in this theme of vegan metaphors or plant-based <laughs> metaphors we're going to be talking about sunshine and photosynthesis so th let's think about this and let me just introduce this a little bit uh, more in depth before we get started because i really think this is going to offer you a lot of value if you just stay with me here, because we're gonna be talking about how plants, how they convert energy, like this tree behind me, right? This converts energy from the sun into food for itself through the process called photosynthesis. Photo means light. That's why when you take a photo, there's light involved, right? Synthesis, like to change or transform, to make, to make something, okay? So photosynthesis, out of light it makes food, to be precise. So you're going to take photosynthesis, if you think about it with me, and apply it to yourself because this earth, this planet that we're, we're on is so sacred. It has so many lessons. And as somebody transitioning to a plant-based diet, you of all people could appreciate perhaps the wisdom inherent within plants. And I truly believe that if we were to look at the earth for our lessons and our wisdom and our knowledge, we could learn so much, okay? So when we think about how this tree behind me converts sun into food, and then we kind of apply that to us, how can we do that? How can we apply that to ourselves? Well, I have a few reasons, or a few, not reasons, a few ways to think about it. So the first thing you could think about is, what and who is your son? So in other words, what and who makes you feel filled up? What and who makes you feel energized? What and who makes you feel passionate and enthusiastic and full of love and full of the ability to grow and thrive and be and just exist in a way that feels good? Like what and who gives you that? Okay, and maybe it's literally the sun. I know I feel so much better after getting some sun, but who in your life, besides Ra, the sun god, <laughs> you know, who gives you that feeling? And think about that because that's kind of an important thing to consider when thinking about your growth. Like, you're the tree, right? Like, are you going to grow to be this really strong, tall, powerful force of nature that provides shelter and food for other beings? and also beauty and also purifies the air. In other words, gives back to your community. Are you gonna be that kind of a soul? I hope so, I think so, or you probably wouldn't be watching this, to be real with you. So point being, you know, consider what and who is your son, identify that, and then from there you can really maximize those relationships. And these are the, the other tips uh, related to that. So think about what are you using to collect the sun around you so you just identified what and who makes you feel good maybe it's um an auntie or your mom or somebody else or an uncle or like a best friend is the who and the what is maybe a bunch of awesome fresh veggies like a green smoothie <laughs> so how are you collecting that though in other words let's go back to the metaphor and then we're going to bounce back to like our lives right so this tree is using chlorophyll in the leaves. So the leaves are green and the chlorophyll is like what captures the sun. It's the pigment that allows the sun to even go in to the being, right? In our bodies, the equivalent would be melanin. So like we don't burn and turn into a red, you know, just blazing star of humanity because we have melanin. It allows us to kind of brown up if we're white. And if we're already dark skinned, it's because we have more melanin than other people. So, you know, what are you using to collect your sun? Not necessarily like your skin in that, but more like with the metaphor. So like, what are you doing to attract those people who make you feel filled up? What are you doing to make sure that you're 
consuming a lot of fresh green veggies. Those are just the examples from what I identified as the who and the what in question one. So customize it to you, friend, whatever it is for you that you identified for yourself. Just ask yourself, how am I consciously collecting that? Or how yet, better yet, am I developing systems and structures and healthy habits in my life to be sure that I can collect that energy or put those people around me? That's a really good question with this metaphor of a tree that we can ponder and sit with and just think about. And see, this is all coming from a plant-based diet because plants, as the foundation of what you're putting in your body, as the foundation of life on earth, I don't think that's an extreme statement. Obviously, some life, uh, there's exceptions to that, but 90% plus, right? Plants are the foundation of all of our lives. Even if you eat animals and you're watching this, you know, animals, they have to eat plants. So they're at the bottom of the, the food pyramid. They're at the bottom of existence, of life. So they're giving us this wisdom, in other words. Their plants give us this knowledge and this wisdom to move forward in a way. Oh, dear. I hope my microphone, it was kind of falling. I hope you could still, sorry if there's like static. I hope you could still hear me. I'm going to fix that. But um, anyway, they give us plants, give us this wisdom. So the third question to ask yourself is what are you growing and it's okay not to have an end game. Maybe you don't know what specifically you're growing. Maybe you don't know what the hell it is your long-term goals are. And you know what, that's okay because everything comes to us in divine timing. And if you're feeling a sense of anxiety when somebody asks you that question like, hey, what are you growing? Yeah, you, what are you growing with your life? And maybe that brings up feelings of uncomfortable, you know, just uh, sensations, or maybe that brings up anxiety. You don't have to have anxiety about that. You can just let it come to you as time goes on, you know, and that's totally fine. And you can go with baby steps. Like maybe you already know, like, dude, I'm supposed to be growing a plant-based diet. And maybe that's only the only thing that you do know right now is that, you know what? It feels right to be eating more plants. Well, you know what? That's not a bad thing. That's a great thing. That's an awesome thing to start with. Okay. Because from there you're going to go further. And just as time grows on, I was having this really good conversation with a friend of mine recently. Um, I then I literally used the metaphor of a tree and I was like, bro, you think about it like you're a tree and you're just starting off. It's okay that you don't know who exactly you are quite yet because you're still young. You're like a seedling, you know, and like you can, as time goes on, you're going to put out more roots and you're going to grow more of your, your trunk and you're going to grow taller and taller towards the sun. And you're going to, you know, develop that sense of identity as time goes on. And for now, just go with what feels right and set your targets accordingly. And that's totally fine. Okay. And maybe on the flip side, you're like a really targeted person and you already know what you're going for and you know when you want to get it by and you have a vision for it and you know where your, your aim is set and you're like, nah, this is where I'm going. That's what it is. Congratulations. I commend you. Props. Not everybody knows what they're going to do like that, okay? But if you do, congratulations. That's a great thing too. And regardless, this can apply to you either way, in either scenario or anywhere in between, okay? It can apply to you. So ask yourself, what are you growing? Because if you're collecting this energy from the sun in this metaphor, okay, and you're you're thinking about how to apply that energy, Or maybe you haven't thought about that yet. Maybe it's been an unconscious thing. But now it's becoming conscious because I'm asking you, even if you haven't thought about it, now you are because I'm talking with you about it, right? So, like, what are you growing? (laughs) What are you growing with your life? What is it that you are producing around you? And we're going to do a future video on um, fruits, like the fruits of what you've grown. And I'm really excited to talk with you about that because nature has such rich metaphors for this stuff that it's gonna be really, really fun, I think, for us to dive into that. So be sure to stay tuned this week. I will be putting it up in this week's theme. But um, with that said, friends, I think I'm gonna cut it short here. In summary, you know, just think about the fact that Earth is this beautiful system you can learn so much from, specifically plants. And they collect energy from the sun and turn it into whatever it is they're growing. Whether it's a maple tree, an oak tree, a peach tree, a cherry tree, a single plant that just has a lot of leaves like basil and then flowers and so forth, whatever the case may be, how does that metaphor apply to you? 
And how can you hack that metaphor of life to grow something beautiful, okay? So speaking of beautiful, may your metamorphosis grow something beautiful. Whether you're a tiny little caterpillar just starting off, like, where are the leaves at? Or you're a full-fledged butterfly sipping the nectar of a plant-based diet. You, my friend, are awesome. Thanks so much for being here. Be sure to check out Chrysalis Chats on Instagram. Also, my website, chrysalisandcocoon.com. Links are down below. Have a blessed day.